I said I was going to do a personal video, a video to another company on YouTube today, folks. I started to do it, got eight minutes long, and then I binned it. I'm not going to do it. It's nothing bad, it's nothing. It was only backing somebody up and uh, bumming somebody up, uh, and saying good things about them, um, and nothing but that, really. But then I, the more I said it, the more I went into it, the more I thought, this person isn't going to like it, even though you're saying good things, because this person hasn't liked it before. Um, and many of these people's followers said I was a bit awful to this person. I wasn't. Uh, I think we both disappointed one another, but it was just, in the words of Robert Plant, a communication breakdown and nothing else. So rather than put the video out, I just binned it. I'm not going to do it. But what I will say is this. All we're trying to do, folks, is take people that visit YouTube away from these dodgy, dodgy, dodgy snake oil salesmen that are after the money. That's a lie after lie after lie that operate with no profit and loss and in some instances put a profit and loss there that is quite misleading. We're trying to educate people coming to YouTube who may just want to flutter but may not want to do their own best, may want to go to people that have done all the studying, put the studying time in and we're trying to get them to the likes of Mickey D, Peter Fillingham and Flat Cap Callum. Somebody last night said give a mention to Connor 500 Here's the mention, Mick I think it was. Mick, I used to mention Connor when I first started off. I mentioned three, I mentioned Flat Cap, I mentioned Connor, and to a lesser extent, the glorious uncertainty. He's away with his film scripts at the moment. Um, but I didn't see much of the glorious. I seen a bit more of Connor and everything that Flat Cap did. Flat Cap was the one I followed. It's only more recently, sort of November time, I've got into Mickey D, and then probably six or eight weeks ago, Peter Fillingham. And I pushed two of the three more than the others, but that's what well, the reasons for that are obvious. But I like all three, I really, really do. Um, the reason I've not been mentioning Conomic is I know he's had some health issues, I know he's in and out of health issues all the time over the last few years. But before Christmas time, his health issues got worse. And also, for the few months before he stopped tipping, his tips became horrendous, and I mean really, really, really bad. And he was struggling, and he was getting more abuse than others online. And I know his health isn't great and it's bad enough getting abused when you're feeling healthy but when you're not healthy it's not a good thing and what I didn't want to do was mention Connor and have people going over there and having a pop at him and him having a few losing days or two or three losing weeks and it getting really nasty that is the last thing he wants when, it, when he's not well so all I will say about Connor is he's a decent guy I don't dislike him at all I used to watch his videos pretty regularly there was a couple of watch that upset me for him not for anything else for him because I know he's not been brilliant health wise and I could see that in a few videos he did I know his heart's in the right place I know he's got a good community who love him and I have noticed since he's been back I've noticed the last three or four days and I know he's struggled for three or four days well he's got money back but he's not covered what he's put out there I don't know how he's gone on today I've not seen today's video but I'll give a message to Connor no problem if anybody out there wants somebody else that isn't after fleecing them and isn't after taking the money I think he is doing some kind of paid service as well I think he introduced something before Christmas but he was given a free service as well and he does do a profit and loss on a daily basis, that's somebody else you could look at. But for me, the main three I would always recommend would be Mickey D, Peter Fillingham, and Flat Cap Callum. The ones I definitely would not recommend are Cal Betts if he shows his face again, Holden's Horses, who else? Peter's Racing Tips, or Peter Sandwich, definitely not. To a great extent, probably not Neil, that's Neil Maurice. Uh, and the new kid on the block, the guy that's the the professional gambler who's got a house worth over a million quid, who bets ten or twelve thousand pounds a day, who when I see in his interview I'm betting people thought this seems like a decent fella, a genuine fella. Well we've found out since that he's now giving tips on a daily basis. Why he's bothered him when he's putting ten or twelve grand on a day himself is beyond me, other than the fact that he's trying to do some of it with other people's money. He says all the tips are free, but when you look into it if you message him and you want the tips before quarter to nine in the morning, he says when the prices are better, he'll charge you for that privilege. Somebody tells me he gave out five today, all about even money. Two went in and three went down, so you'd have lost. You'd have paid for that information. Not worth it at all. Why a guy in a million pound house, that's betting 10 or 12,000 pound a day, that says he only concentrates really on two and three year old horses on the flat. Why on earth you pay me is beyond me. Why he's doing jumps is beyond me. Why he's doing all... He's, Horses of all age groups is beyond me when he said he concentrates on two and three year old horses. I don't get that. Um, so that's another guy I wouldn't trust. Is it Jeff Lawton? I think he's called. I wouldn't bother with him neither. So, to you folks, if you want to do your congas in, do your money in, 
you go ahead and go spend money with these guys but it wouldn't be for me and that is it when I find the off button good night